Hi everyone, this is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service Office in San Diego. A lot to talk about here. Heavy rain and heavy snow uh, with strong winds impacting coastal areas all the way through the mountains. This will be mainly on Tuesday, but conditions at times will continue into Wednesday. Let's get going with this webinar. Okay, uh, the ground is saturated. The next atmospheric river is coming in through Tuesday. It'll be a direct hit into Southern California. Strong winds associated with it. Atmospheric rivers contain strong winds. This one particularly strong. Uh, the rainfall will be heavy at times Tuesday from the commute on. And rain and showers will continue through Wednesday. Now the rates uh, will be enough to cause flooding in urban areas and low-lying areas. Also notice that thunderstorms are a potential as well, especially on Wednesday with the colder air. Now the snow. Snow will be a big deal like the storm we saw in late February. It's going to start around 6,000 feet Tuesday morning, but then it's going to lower through the day to around 5,000 feet Tuesday night. Then lower further on Wednesday as the coldest air arrives. We're talking big snowfall amounts, uh, as shown here, in feet above 5,500 feet with potential for several feet above 6,500 feet. So some of the impacts from the rain will be significant runoffs, including our rivers, small creek flooding. Remember the ground is saturated, doesn't take as much. Uh, areas of flooding, uh, all areas are susceptible to this type of flooding. Now uh, the surf will be rough, the seas will be rough, and the winds will just be playing dangerous over the waters on Tuesday. An additional storm, take a breath, potentially late March. Let's look at some more details here. Here's a map showing you where the highest threat for wind impacts will occur. And you can see most areas are orange and red shaded, including the coast, with elevated threat of two strong winds uh, potentially causing impact. Now for the snowfall, clear cut, too much snow at once for the higher elevations up around 6,500 feet and above as shown here. Okay, the atmospheric river is developing right now. The moisture field is shown on the satellite image. It's coming up from the tropics near Hawaii, pointed because of the jet stream directly into Southern California. On satellite, we can see some enhancements taking place. Uh, this satellite data is available at weather.gov, our webpage. Now, the forecast prediction looks like this. Right now, the main upper level storm system is west of Oregon. It's going to dip across the eastern Pacific and explode, uh, strengthening uh, the storm itself and interacting with the tropical moisture or the atmospheric river on Tuesday. A direct tip. Now, the storm does weaken by Wednesday. It starts to open up and we have the coldest air in place, but with a weaker storm, the widespread heavy rain will taper off, but there still will be numerous showers and um, periods of heavy snow in our mountains with winds starting to decrease Wednesday notably. The next storm, uh, it's taking a similar course, but it looks like it's gonna be slower moving and potentially milder as it stays more to our north. So we'll have to watch that closely for additional rainfall early next week. The atmospheric river is a direct hit as shown here. It's forming and it's moving directly towards San Diego and LA on Tuesday as shown here. It'll be uh, east of our area by late Tuesday afternoon. So we'll see a break in the precipitation, um, but precipitation does fill back in Tuesday night into Wednesday. Okay, this map shows nicely that the bulk of this storm system affects Southern California, as shown here. So that's where the heaviest precipitation is expected. Here's a zoomed up version showing the heavy rain potential, widespread one to two inches for our major urban areas, coast to valley, but notice the even heavier rainfall of two to five inches up along the foothills. Now there will be some spillover into our deserts with this atmospheric river, 
um, especially uh, where those deserts right up where they meet the mountain crest. So heavy rainfall potential. The outlook calls for the yellow shaded area to be the main concern, primary concern for too much rain at once, uh, too much runoff and the potential for flooding and even flash flooding, which is life-threatening and property-threatening flooding. The San Diego River will see some flooding, especially on the streets that start flooding above eight feet. Now, um, the latest prediction keeps the river up right around 10 feet, like our recent storm, to give you an idea. The snow will be big. Uh, we have not seen snow in our San Bernardino Mountains since early March. This is comparable to the storm we had in late February, where we're talking a couple feet of snow at 6,000 feet, and we're talking about several feet at 7,000 feet. The snow level will be critical. Remember, it'll start around 6,000 and then it'll lower as the storm goes through Tuesday night and Wednesday all the way down to 4,000 feet. So some of the big snowfall amounts up around 7, 8,000 feet shown here. Now the San Diego Mountains will start off as rain with the mild atmospheric river on Tuesday, but those mountains will also shift over to snow as cold air comes in. So most of the snow looks to be right above uh, 4,500 feet with the colder at Tuesday night and Wednesday. The winds are going to be strong all areas. I want to highlight two areas, coastal areas, and I want to highlight the mountain and desert slopes. So coastal areas means orange San Diego County coast, but also Note the wind stretching up along the I-15 corridor up into the Inland Empire and also spilling over into the high desert. Strong winds Tuesday. Some damage to trees is likely. The pattern remains wet. That's the bottom line. The next storm potential is shown here for rounding off what's been a very wet month of March. Most areas are one and a half times wetter than usual. And with this next storm, they'll be closer to two times. Potential for yet another storm on top of that for late March as shown here. Make sure you follow the wind, the rain, and the conditions as well as any urgent warnings that may be issued at weather.gov. Stay safe.